happy Thursday, boys and girls. It's kimochi time. Here we go. Kimochis are our friends. Kimochis are our friends. They are here to play with us. Kimochis are our friends. They have feelings too. They have feelings too. Happy, sad, and angry, just like me and you. Well, boys and girls, I have a great story for you today. And this is really wonderful because it reminds me of a few lessons ago when we talked about if it's kind, say it, or if you think it'll help, and if it's kind, do it. Well, this book reminds me of that. And also, it reminds me of, or it's kind of a good kickoff into something that we're gonna be, an activity we're doing tomorrow. And it's about, we're gonna be making, um, a brave badge tomorrow. So while you're reading the story, I want you to think about something that you had to be brave for. So think about that because tomorrow you're gonna to be listening to another little story and then making a brave badge and, and recalling a time that you had to be brave. And we're gonna be talking all about brave in a couple of weeks, that's another Katawaza, but I just wanted to get us prepared for it so that when we get there, we can talk about it. Okay, boys and girls, this book is called Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. And on the back it says, the world needs your voice. So let's listen to the story. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways. With words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop! Oh, I like how he's using his stop hand too. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. Painted meadow splashed with rainbows. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible. That really hurt. I'm really sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people. Peace. Inspire others to do the same. Peace. Shalom, make more light. I love the earth. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. 
If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say. I hope, I believe, join us, I wish, together we can. I'm ready to change the world. I imagine. So when you're ready, say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? So boys and girls, I just love that story because you might not be ready today, you might not be ready tomorrow, but one day you are gonna be ready and you're gonna be brave and you are going to say something. Say something by including a friend. Say something that you might um, be scared to say, but one day you will be brave and you will be able to put your brave in front of your scared and say something that's really important. All right, boys and girls, I hope you had a chance to think about something you did or a time when you were brave. So I want you to think about that because we are all gonna be making a brave badge tomorrow. We all have braveness in us and there are different types of brave and we will talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Make our brave badge and don't worry, we're gonna explore it again in a few weeks. But I just thought I need to get this brave badge going. All right, my friends, be brave, be kind, and if it's kind, say something. Bye, boys and girls.